Greetings everybody, Black Shadow here and welcome to another episode of Company of Heroes Blitzkrieg Mod Command 3 Overview. Yes, finally I pronounced it okay from the very beginning. And today we are recording and I'm gonna show you the last Command 3 of American Faction that will basically finish the Overview miniseries for Company of Heroes. And we left Orberg Company because as you might know, who the ladies love the most? Airborne. And who the Nazis, Nazis fear the most? Airborne. <laughs> yeah, I know it's... It doesn't give a serious punch like, uh, you know, to be, if I were to be an American, but... Forget about that. Anyways, because it's airborne company, of course, we don't have access to much tanks. We only get different version of Sherman. The W version. And then, of course, we get Tank Destroyer in case enemy puts a lot of Tank Hunters, so... With this we might be able to counter counter their advances, but there are other better things to like prevent them from attacking. Now, other stuff regarding uh, paratroopers. We can call 101 Airborne Rangers. They are one of the most renowned and elite companies in the world, I guess. 80, 82nd, also very well known. And of course we get like typical ranger support, like, you know, usual squad of infantry. Then we can get HQ squad support. Uh, it boosts morale, it can also serve as a rally port, a rally point for airborne operations. And then of course veterancy training, which means that all of the uh, troops, airborne troops, uh, are just better. They receive special training. And I'm gonna show you in a moment. We we gonna use Hill 361 if I remember correctly the name of the map. Yeah, we can put observation squad here, uh, ranger support here from 101 and 82 here. As you can see, they are not that. Uh, they are not compared to the other active abilities from other command trees. I think they are kind of cheap they are cheaper than most and of course we're gonna put HQ I don't know if they get, if they get uh, request supply drops Oh, that's right. Uh, when you unlock different things, they can call in additional drops. And if they can camouflage, I think they can. Yes, so if you drop Observation Squad and put them on hold to hold fire so that no enemy will attack them, they can really fuck shit up on your uh, backlines. And of course it's very nice with Airborne that you can always call reinforcements, I think every time? Like, even if they are on enemy territory you can call them. And yeah, I guess um, if you drop all of these squads, as you can see, uh, you don't have unit cap is not one, so there is an ability for you to drop even more of those guys. Yeah, there's some there are some problems back home. I'm just gonna throw two Shermans. I mean, make three Shermans and make them. Make them protect our base. So you see, we have like armor spearhead, a lot of uh, mortars, mobile mortars too. Of course, sorry for the low FPS. This map, even on only high note ultra settings, don't like me much. Oh, this is very nice. You can buy, you can build mobile airborne HQ, which looks like a barracks. But basically, assuming I will find a place to build it. 
example, here. And I guess um, from this they will be able to build additional... Oh, there are special abilities. Uh, inspired Assault, as you can see, better firepower for less safety. And then you can call in Air Recon. Coilless rifles are very fun. Anyways, let us continue. Now, additional things for your paratroopers. They can get phosphorus grenades. Then they can, with that, it unlocks ability to request mortar barrage. Maybe it's not the best for armor, but it can really slow down enemy infantry. And of course, here you can call in uh, 80 anti-tank guns, which are very nice. And HMT team support and then mortar. So basically, uh, almost every type of unit you can call up in the air. Of course, I think they are slightly... Um, what's the word? Not cheaper, but... Uh, pricer. Sorry, I completely forgot the English word for that. I hope you will understand what I mean. And the last thing, probably the most interesting one. You can call Ericon, Strafing Run, Bomber Run, and then you can get Bomber Patrol. Assuming enemy doesn't have much uh, anti-air, and I'm pretty sure they will. Yep, they are getting shot down all around. Oh, very nice, direct hit it. Yeah, but most of our turns get, no, most of our airborne things get got destroyed, and it acts there for at least 30 seconds, which is very nice. And I think it, like, really, the explosions from these bombs are awesome, like, superb. They have really a lot of firepower available. And it's probably one of the best abilities that you can call. As you can see, the recharge time for fragmentation from bomber runs is especially long. The strafing run for infantry, which is the best against infantry, is uh, kind of okay. But yeah, the bombing run is great. And as you can see, his recharge time, recharge time is even longer. Because yeah, it's really powerful ability. We'll point them up here. Anyways, that was um, most of it, I guess. I just wanna. I will try to see if there's unit cap on airborne troops, but I don't think so, really. Engineers, sniper, medic team. And if you call sniper, you cannot call medic team at the same time, which is uh, understandable, I guess. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's it for presentation. Of course, once again, sorry for the low FPS. I thought that with lower, lower details, it will be, it will be okay. But it seems like it, that's not the case. Okay, Brits called this one. Let's, let's just make one last view at the airborne. Fellas, elite of the elite. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, consider clicking the like button, leaving a comment, or maybe even subscribing to my channel. If not, I hope you didn't waste any time here, and you will swing by in the near future. That was it. That's it for all. I see you guys next time. Bye bye.